Okay, we've got another one. Let's go. Sputnikko versus the AI that is Karim. Skynet himself. Playing as... Who else but the Ottomans? Sputnikko playing Russia. We've seen this guy play a couple of civs, I think. But it seems like uh, Russia's definitely one of his favourites. This could be good. This guy's like 2k ELO. 2100 ELO, actually. I think he's probably been lingering around the top 10, top 15. So one of the, you know, one of the top players in the game, really. Sending a really far forward villager, Karim. What? Is this going to be a dock? Oh my word. Oh my God. Ladies and gents, we have something. We have something other than the straight FI. Skynet is adapting. It's evolving. He's, he's clicked another building other than the church and TP. <laughs> he's going for a dock. My lord. Don't give Karim build orders, guys. Don't give the chat AI any more build orders. God, he'll, he'll destroy us all. Got everyone on food. Literally one house, one dock, and then the rest of it. That's going to be enough for what? Two? Two fishing boats. How much is a fishing boat? 70. So, uh, got what this guy's going to... Extra. Oh, oh, okay. Wow, no. Going for schooners. Okay, wow. With one dock. See how long... Uh, I don't think I've ever seen Karim go full water. I know. I think I've seen him do some semi, semi water. Full water? I mean, he's going schooners, so he's really dedicated. Let's have a quick look at this deck. I mean, yeah. I mean, he's got rendering plant in there. He's got improved warships. Of course, he still has the church cards and boss construction. So not the church, the uh, the moss card. Yeah, okay. Let's see if uh, Sputnikko notices. Now, this is actually going to be an interesting game because this is renowned, even since vanilla, since back when I was playing in about 2006. This has always been one of the worst matchups in the game for Russia. It's, it's, it feels impossible as Russia. But we'll see what Sputnikko's got up his sleeve. But Nico going for an early TP. That's interesting. Let's uh, take a quick look over. Hasn't he even sent in distributivism yet. He does have one house. If we uh, scroll through, really that means Grim got the 40 coin. But Nico got 60 wood. Get any other wood? But Nico got 40 wood. So he got 100 wood. So it looks like he's decided to. Yeah, that extra 100 wood, I think, uh, the extra 100 wood, because Russia start with 200 wood crates. So he's luckily, he's found 100 wood and utilised that really well and gone for an early TP, so that's very nice. Take a quick look. He hasn't seen the dock just yet, but he has kind of scouted through here. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Oh, no, he hasn't. Oh, sorry, I apologise. He hasn't scouted through here. You can just see the shoreline, but... Oh, hopefully he double backs on himself. If he doesn't, then he's probably going to miss that. That's really unfortunate. Doesn't see it. Doesn't see it. Although he, he he knows that Karim hasn't gone for a dock. So definitely what he's thinking at the moment is he hasn't gone for a TP. So what has he spent his wood on? And he will know, he'll be 99.9% .9 sure that it's a dock that he spent that 200 wood on. And he's going to see this villager here, but he's not going to see a dock. He's definitely going to be looking up the shoreline. Probably taking a lucky guess. He's gone for the left shoreline. Oh, we got some counterplay here. So he did see that dock. I mean, that's a. I, I don't know. That's a bit. Because I'm not sure why he how he gambled so hard there because he hadn't seen this dock until the villagers got there. So that was kind of fortunate. Maybe he saw the fish here. I'm guessing he saw the fish get um, go down here. And, and if you can scout that, if you're smart enough, you can scout that. So um, he's going to put his block house there. Oh, but the Minutemen, and don't forget, these guys, they don't have the negative multiplier versus villagers. So they will kill villagers really quickly. Unfortunate timing there by Krim. He does manage to take one. So it's not the complete end of the world. He's going to get an explorer off the back of that as well. He's going to delay these villager seconds from the block house as well. So... He's got some value out of these these Minutemen, but it could have been a lot worse. If if Sputniko didn't send four villagers there and he sent two or three, he could have likely lost all of his villagers there. At least two or three. 
So, really big brain by Sputnikko to send four villagers there. Oh, wow. But look at this. Karim, <laughs> his first card that's come in is going to be the two caravels. He's also building one now as well. Oh, my God. we got water battles. This is not what I expected from a Karim game. He's going to be waiting for that timing. He's not even using these to, to gather any food or anything like that. No, 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 no. This is all about the timing. <laughs> How does he defeat this blockhouse, though? I don't think he does. Especially Sputniko ships those two caravels first as well, which he did. All the way up here. He's getting a dock now of his own. This is really nice play. So this is definitely heavy counter. Oh, look at that. He's going for another blockhouse as well. I'm not sure if that's going to get built. That's very, very risky. If I was Sputniko... Oh, is he going to lose one here if he gets all three switch shots? Oh, yeah. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. And that was that was ballsy, Sputnik. I'm not going to lie. And losing that sort of tempo, that's like half of a, an H2 card. Essentially 350 resources equivalent. Although, in this case, it's 400 resources. Losing 400 resources for free at six minutes of the game. Oh, it's, it's, it's not good. It is not good. And now he's got four caravels. So they're called galleys, not caravels. Uh, as, long as, he, as long as he takes down this caravel... He can then go for the blockhouse and he should be absolutely fine. He is going to have to retreat. I'm hoping that Skynet has the capability to micro it and he doesn't. So he's going to lose one and he really didn't need to lose one there. But what's Sputnikko's response? He is building another caravel. He's going for another blockhouse. Oh wow, that blockhouse went down so quickly. And, and he's going to be building another caravel, but this is uh, save it. No, it's, just, it's not worth it, dude. Oh, he does save it. Oh, my God. I nearly had a panic attack. He does save it. Okay, right at the last split second. Deciding to go for five Cossacks now. So, definitely well saved. How does he come back from here? He's still dedicated to the water. He's trying to get that up now. Another blockhouse, but that's not going to go up. And this blockhouse, bless its little art, it's not going to do enough damage to deter these for long. Karim just <laughs> full on wood over here. If we take a quick look, just... just basically everyone on wood and the only reason he's got people on food and gold is because of the boats he's looking really good he's on 22 veils considering he's made two of two caravels two galleys sorry he shipped two galleys and he's he's, he's got this many boats out he's looking pretty good uh, i mean sputnico as long as he can contain this to a degree he's only on 19 veils though not good not good he does also need to be careful on the Oh my word, what is going on here? Oh, musketeers. Oh, wasting musketeers over there. I mean, this could be, this cavalry could be nice, but yeah, not going to pick anything up before. But Nico's a little bit lost here. But Nico is a little bit lost here. Scores are similar, uh, but yeah, I mean, it, Karim is so far ahead here. I'm not even sure John Connor could bring this back. Yeah, I mean, he's pretty much got this dominated. He's still trying. He's really, really still trying. Villagers are on the wrong side, though. Yeah, that's much better. He ships just out of range by the looks of it. I'm pretty sure a special attack could definitely hit that blockhouse from here. But he does have no units, and he has no Minutemen. Problem is, he does have Town Center, the Town Center, yeah, which he's already shipping. Colonial Militia, or City Defense, as it's called now. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to one-shot Musketeers. It's going to three-shot Cossacks. I mean, look at that. He's done a couple of K thousand damage, but can't see that being enough. Karim is also going to be able to send some more Minutemen after this as well. Sputnikos a good player, so he'll he'll identify if we have a look here that the range attack will go up. There you go. So he's going to understand that city defense will have come in once the attack goes up. So I imagine once he's identified that, he should back up. He really should back up. I mean, one good hero snare uh, and this Minutemen, and it, yeah, he's going to be done. He's done for. He is keeping, he is keeping, doing a good job of keeping all of Karim's villages inside his TC, but coming out of cost, and look, now he's just getting one shot by these Musketeers. Oh, God, it's kind of painful. It's kind of painful, Sputniko, but this guy is a 2100 Edo player. 
four of these out now and it's basically free on this side of the map It'd be nice to get another dock down here as well definitely looks like he wants to start going looking to fortress now rendering plant would be a really good shout right now i imagine that's probably what he wanted before city defense came in i think rendering plant is definitely a must here and you want to send rendering plant in you know sooner rather than later before you start kind of getting into that stage where you're starting to eat up a lot of the resources and it's not really worth sending anymore i mean that's quite a lot of boats you probably don't really you don't really want to make any more boats on this side of the map he's got 20 over here if you make too many then it's just not going to be worth the resource value Look, yeah and this is nice scouting here he's not gonna be able to get that dog down he definitely wants to focus on making things on this side of the map yeah, I mean, rendering and plant would be really, really good here, Karim. I mean, if you don't want to adapt, then that's that's absolutely fine. He does need to, definitely wants to repair the TC. That's only on two. He did a good job, actually. 2,500 HP. And he could be coming around the back. Going to probably pick off one or two. Or it doesn't kill him in one, which is a bit unfortunate. Oh, no. He's got three HP. Sputniko doesn't even get one. Oh, Sputniko is not having a good time. He is not having a good time. This is going to get repaired soon, I imagine. He's going to start aging up. If Rendering Plant came in by now, then he would be looking really, really hot to go to Industrial straight away. Like, he could he could get to Industrial for free if he, had, if he sent in Rendering Plant, but decided, he's deciding to save the shipment for some reason. I mean, it's a, it's a great card at this stage of the game. Absolutely great card. And Sputnikos uh, putting a lot of heavy resource. He's got, these, he's got a dock down now as well. Two block houses. He's really, really trying to... Take the heat off this side of the map. Karim, I mean, Karim could lose everything and he, he would still be okay on this side of the map. Oh, all of that work. It... And he's going to be losing another four, three, four musketeers. Very unfortunate. Going for a frigate. So he has saved, he has saved, but I mean, like I said, rendering, if rendering plant came in, you know, he'd have enough resources to just build a frigate. It probably looks like that's like what he wants to do anyway. Okay. The frigate coming in and he's making a frigate. But Nico, does he see this side of the map? Again, again. You don't have to on this map, you don't even have to scout the, the shoreline of where the dock is to, to ensure that he is actually on the water. All he needs to do is see this little health bar here and know that the fish are getting eaten up. So a nice little tip for you guys out there that didn't realise. On maps where you can see the water, even though it's in the shadow, you can identify any fish that are losing HP by this little indicator here. So if you see that, then you know he's eating this fish. You know he's got a dock on that side of the map. So Sputniko identifying that very quickly as well. So really nice by him. He's probably going to clean up this side of the map. I mean, it will be interesting if... Oh, he's shipping a frigate now. He's in H3 as well. Sputniko, he's still not... He's only on 30 bills though. Oh, both the figures on this side of the map, and look at this. We've got a fleet over here, boys. We have, the Turkish fleet has come out in force. I didn't even know how to pronounce these names. Uh, well, a sea hunter. We've got an English one, look. Nice. Sea lion. <laughs> sea tiger. Okay, cool. Yeah, two sea hunters, kind of lame. Going to be taking down these block houses. Very nice. Very, very nice. That frigate's going to come in there, and I'm not sure. Oh, these Orpenix could change things, you know. And Karim still doesn't still doesn't have any military buildings. Bizarre. I mean, did, did something happen with his Wi-Fi? He just stopped computing? Did the chatbot just stop receiving information? But Nico really, really uh, consolidating this side of the map by uh, ensuring that there's a TC over here as well and absolutely nothing can come back from this. Using his musketeers as well to take them dock as quickly as possible so we can't get anything from there. Five orbs coming out. Oh, but this... Who needs... Who needs military buildings? Who needs military buildings when you're Ottoman? Eh? Eh? You just ship Spahi. And that's unfortunate because Sputnikos playing the right game here but how does he deal with these Spahi now? He... he Literally has no way of dealing with it. He's uh, going for cavalry archers. Yeah, he really doesn't want to... Karim could uh, find something really juicy over here. Not No one going for the vases, which is an absolute shame because they're an absolute steal. 
Karim, you've got uh, 10 villagers in here at least. But this is nine. These these orcs. Look at the siege damage on these. 64 siege damage. Yeah. <laughs> these spies are running right back home. Because he knows this will get taken down very quickly. The, the sea defense is going to two-shot these orcs. And that, that's going to come heavy. That is going to come at heavy cost. <clears throat> Karim securing this side of the map. Putting his TC on this side of the map as well. But there's a lot of... There's a lot of units. There's a lot of like ships and whatnot on that side of the map now. So, oh, so the Minutemen did come in. So, I mean, that's, although the TC remains, I mean, he has forced that shipment from Karim, which is 800 resources in total, 400 gold and 400 wood. So that's not a bad, that's not a, that's not a terrible trade for but Nico. He did lose a lot of orbs though. But again, he's forced this response. Yeah, yeah, you, you back up, you want to back up. Why? I have no idea why the Ottoman Minutemen got rid of the negative multiplier versus villagers. Because there was a massive deal about uh, probably like a year and a half ago that where this is when the sort of, that was the sort of time when um, European Minutemen lost their, uh, their multiplier versus, um, versus villagers. They didn't have a multiplier, but they didn't have a negative multiplier either. So... Uh, and and then now for some reason when the Ottoman got buffed, it's almost as if someone forgot to turn the negative multiplier back on. <laughs> because yeah, I mean they. Uh, oh well, oh well, just things, right? Just things. But uh, <laughs> he's gonna go charging back in here, and there's there's nothing to protect it now, other than the Spahi or any other shipments that Karim decides to send. There's nothing in queue. It looks like he's trying to get into industrial, but Nico really. Making sure this side of the map just goes, uh-uh, no more ships for you. And there's nothing, there's nothing here. I mean, he's sending in the Moss card now. I mean, he, he he's not going to get, he's not going to age up. Wow, this could be, somehow, this could, this game's starting to look really hot for Spot Nico all of a sudden. I mean, how, his, his spies, what are your spies doing? He's obviously worried that there's some cavalry archers here. He's, I feel like he's wasted his city defense. Uh, oh, I'm, that's not going to go up, buddy. Oh, maybe it is, actually, because he has another TC this side. of. The, okay, okay. So is that where he's built? Yeah, okay. So that's where it is. But how many villagers is he going to lose? Okay, not that many. Did he move his villagers? He did move his villagers. Karim is smarter than we thought. Karim is smarter than we thought. Okay, okay. All right. All right, John Connor. Guy next to and it's adapted i'm always shocked i'm always shocked but russia on free tc and i mean now that this kind of 18 minutes into the game 45 villagers really isn't a lot and a lot of them are in these boats which they're running out of resources right now really running out of resources the moss card is in so he is going to be getting a heck of a lot of spahi hopefully sputnico recognizes that Wars are closing in as well. If we take a quick look at Sputnikko. Yeah, he's on he's on 49 villages. And, and, and with three TCs, like, Russia scales really well. Uh, they scale really hard, especially with the more TCs we've got. We're going to be going for stagecoaches now. That's really nice. Vars has come in. Hasn't got the Vars attack just yet. Maybe he wants it for some cab. Yeah, going to be running these villages into the boat. Keep them nice and safe. These orps are going to be able to do enough damage. Yeah, they're going to be able to siege enough quickly enough before this frigate really does enough damage. <laughs> I like that bug, that glitch there. The church has gone down, but since he aged up, the the art, the shadow tech for the art, just kind of showed it. That was, that was, that was hilarious. Uh, it's the little things, the little things, eh? Yeah, so these guards back here are on over 1k HP. Wow, so not only did they shadow tech into industrial, that there was another tech that he's used as well. But uh, yeah, they're going to get melted by the cavalry archers. 15 cavalry archers, wow. Um, going to absolutely melt it. So, I'm not sure where the other spy here are. I thought they might have gone down. Unless they were in one of the boats. Yeah, and this is looking really good for Spunny. I mean, Karim is still 2k score in front. I don't know how. Ah, oh, the spy here were hiding in a boat. Okay. Um, but he did lose three of them. So, that's really unfortunate. Ulverin's coming in now as well. That's going to be some really nice anti-boat tech. And this shoreline's all he's got left. So 
Those villagers making it out just in time, but again, he's able to see, take this arsenal down now. He's probably going to take that dog down. Playing it very safe. These orbs really, really saving the day for Sputnik. Honestly, saving the day. And the scores are closing in. 61 bills for the Russia players, but the rim, he's on 38. Not looking good. Dude, look at your resources. I'm presuming he wants to get the... Has he hit this one? Maybe he's waiting to get Moss Construction in. I think that's what he's doing. What's his cargo? Oh, wow. Okay, so more city defense coming in. That's another big shipment of the Minutemen. He does have the usual ones as well. And he's just going to stand and fight. And yeah, I totally agree. Why not? More Minutemen coming in for Krim now as well. Why he didn't send them in at the same time? Anybody's guess. You could actually go for a monitor, but I'm not really sure how much that would help. He is going to be using the special attack on the Culverins, which is really, really nice, actually. He could micro that one away right now, but is Karim going to micro that away? Karim doesn't know what the word micro means, so he's not going to do that. But he paid off! <laughs> he got away with it somehow. Still got a shipment. What's he going to, send the sh what's he going to spend the shipment on? Yeah, he wants to get that moss down, so I, I feel like this uh, moss construction would be really good. Um, but uh, he's, he's still nowhere near what he needs for that. Like, he, he needs like the Nizams. The Bombards would be okay, uh, as long as it's backed up by the ships. But he's deciding, deciding to go for cavalry combat. He's got no cavalry. Does he still have the Spahi? So he's using cavalry combat for five spy. Okay, he's changed his mind. Thank goodness for that. I was going to say cavalry combat for five spy. Yeah, my God. This guy really does get orgasms over spy. He does have the option of going for this top coup corpse very shortly. Looks like he might do a timing with the 12 Abbas guns, which, by the way, is an insane card value wise. And that's going to be perfect against these culverins. Although he wants to be careful. He, he wants to be able to take down these culverins. I mean, there's not much of an answer to Abbas guns though. And these cavalry archers could do quite well. But they're not going to dive in too close. Oh, yeah. And Abbas guns coming in now. And it, uh, Oh, he, uh, he's 200 food off still. Oh, and he's losing all his boats now. Karim, he's still on the similar score. It was looking... Oh, God. Micro them back, buddy. Okay, the spy coming in now, and oh, there's 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 a reinforcing batch coming in of cavalry archers. That was actually looking really good for the spy here at that stage. And if the spy can connect on the culverins, he'll be looking really good for when the the other church mosque, sorry, uh, shipments come in. And he is going to be chasing them. These guys have over 1,000 HP with a 45 hand attack with free area effect. Oh my god, it's disgusting. The Abbas guns in the back doing a really good job taking down these cavalry archers, and all of a sudden. All of a sudden, it's looking kind of good again. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Is he going to go for a revolt? No, surely not. He hasn't got enough villagers to go for a revolt. Oh, look at this. Sputnik straight on the water. But he's cleared up the water. Pretty much, he's got eight boats which are, are gathering at this stage. So, it's not really big of, uh, that much of a bigger deal, really, to be honest. Nine Abbas guns still standing. They do counter these uh, veteran... Cavalry archers pretty well. Boom! Look at that. Abbas guns are just so good. They are just so good. Grim getting more Spahi now. It doesn't matter that the Russia player is making the counter unit to it, does it? No, of course not. Spahi over everything. Spahi going to come out. I mean, he could, again, he could get good value out of it, but he doesn't know where everything is, so... You know, he, he's kind of just playing a guessing game where he decides to take the spar here. Does he decide to raid? Does he decide to just dive in? And there's not a big army from Russia player. Tempo could definitely swing. And he's made orps as well. Ooh, this could, could play into Karim's hand and he's going to get that another crack shot. Look at that. Karim's favorite unit is the Explorer. Other than the spar here, it's the Explorer. Why are you going to come in? But he's going to see the spar here early and I imagine he's going to back right off. The Abba's going to get some good dubs on the archers. Oh, and he's running away with the spy. Why? Karim. Oh, my word. We just saw him pay the full amount for the for the Moss Tech of getting the uh, Nizams. He just paid two and a half thousand wood. 
God, that's painful. God, that's painful. But they're out now. And um, these guys are one of my favorite units, actually, because... Oh, more orbs. No, no, Spanico, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm going to give Karim and Alcrim back into the game. No, not like this. Not like this. The Vaza talk's coming out. Oh, my God. This spy, he would clean this up as well. What does Sputnikko do from here? He's making more cavalry archers. Just what he needs that these in his arms. Now, as I was saying, these Nizams are a very interesting unit. They they change their kind of stats depending on what um, guard mode they're in, depending on what formation they're in. Uh, oh, is that going to be enough? Is that going to be enough? No, he's decided to back up. I don't know why. These Nizams, they can be on the stand ground, for example, which gives them 20 range. They can be on their normal stance. Uh, their normal stance only has 12 range, but they have double uh, versus heavy infantry. And there's currently no heavy infantry out for Sputniko. So while that Russia flag going, as it's flying in, um, I heart Ukraine. Yeah, so these Nizams should definitely be on another mode at the moment. But this is Karim we're talking about, so he probably doesn't understand. Yeah, this siege attack can absolutely destroy... The galley here, very nice. Brigitte is out for Russia as well now. Oh, but the spy, they could connect really well. Oh, but Karim just doesn't know what micro is, and that's so unfortunate. Look, move one of them down here. Oh god, it's kind of painful. I'm not gonna lie, that would have been that would have been juicy. That would have been juicy. I really don't think Karim understands that you can change. <laughs> the Nizam's formation and it would definitely benefit him greatly here. He could have the same range as Abbas. He could have more range than Abbas guns um, firing 30 damage at a time, but no, wants to keep him on this. Oh, look at their cute little blue sandals look. Their blue little flip flops look. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's a cute unit. Two bombards coming out now. Oh, not going to do too much versus Cav, but gonna be enough oh these orbs have such good bonuses versus them and look one of them is gonna go down and that's a great trade if i was russia i'd be very happy with that trade losing about six or seven orpenics for one bombard great trade the spy he's finally gonna connect they could have easily connected but he decided not to and now the the last church tech is coming in now which is gonna be the torku corpse Apologies if I uh, butchered the name of that. And that's going to give him three bombards, which is going to bring him to a total of four. So he has a scary army. He does have a scary army. These archers not really countering anything here, other than the Spahi. Still doesn't have these Nizar. He still has them on the standard uh, formation, which is not what you want. But There is a lot of them. There's 21 of them. I think it would probably be... Um, a good time to either go for some strelets or some artillery of his own. Probably some... He's only in age 3 still, so they have to be falconets at this stage. 99 vils, though. Yeah, I mean, I don't see... I don't see Karim winning this, but it's, it's... It's all about how he deals with this army, which is an crazy industrial. Like, these guys, the Nizams are industrial. You know, the, the Spahi are just insane. The, the great bombards are just absolutely, like, the best artillery in the game, pretty much. Like... Yeah, it's a, it's, it's, it is a problem to deal with, but maybe some culverins and some strelets would be nice. Gonna go straight for this great bombard. He's gonna lose probably about half his army, but oh yeah, put everyone on melee mode. That's perfect. Look at this, perfect, perfect catch. Karim not paying any attention. Why are he gonna be going for raiding? If those Spahi were in that fight there, that would have melted these cavalry archers. Absolutely melted them. He's deciding to go for some raids instead. He has another bomb out. I presume then he's got a factory? Or that's just... Well, I don't know how he got that other bombard. Maybe it was missing from somewhere. Oh, the agent coming in for Spartanico, but yeah. Oh, and there's the GG. Oh, Karim adapted at the start, but he didn't adapt hard enough, did he? Just not building, not making a military building till like 20 minutes into the game. And uh, not sending a rendering plant, not securing this side of the water. Really, really cost him. 
and 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 how easily he was in the lead at the start. Oh, how you blew that lead. Ah, excellent play by Sputnikko. Ah, excellent play. Really good eyes on the map. Just identifying when the water at every stage of the game was being used. Understanding that he, Karim didn't go for a TP. Getting straight on that barracks right here to counter the water. Yeah, really, really well played by Sputnikko. Getting his good old Karim dub in there. Yeah, look at this. Well played by him. Very, very well played by him. Excellent game. 